Hello and welcome to a review of the One Piece Grand Line Journey Nami statue from Ban Presto. So today is my second One Piece statue, despite the fact I have never really watched One Piece apart from like the first 10 episodes. I'll catch up with it one day, it's not that long. But today we have a statue, of course, of um, the, the, the One Piece crew. I think that's their name, right? Correct me in the comments um, if and when I get all of these things wrong. But today it is, of course, Nami. Uh, so I have never got any statues from the Grand Line Journey one. I got um, a Portgast, the Ace, one a while ago, but that was from a different series. I don't even know if the scales. But I saw this up for pre-order and I thought, you know what? I like it because I quite like Nami. I um I like her design. So we'll take a quick look at the box and then I'll go ahead and unbox her. So that's the front. Obviously it says there one piece of uh, Grand Line Journey Nami. Uh, and then that that's literally the katakana for everything I've just read. Um on the side you have some suggestions. You can have it on the desk or on the sofa so those those are some ooh, those are some suggestions this is a um a close-up uh, if you will and that's kind of a um a full-on view now i am curious i think she comes to this table i'm kind of hoping because otherwise it's going to be awkward to display here and that's the top there um and it gives you all the info it's from one piece it's obviously um those people, I can't remember their name now, I'm blanking on it. Jaya, of course, are the like subsidiary or whatever, and that's the legal stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this box now and take her out and then assemble her and then show you guys. So, BRB. Okay, here she is. So, I've uh, unboxed her. And um, honestly, the assembly is really easy. We'll kind of go through that in a uh, second for the stand thing. I'm going to move that to the side, we've seen enough of this box for now. And let's take a look at Nami herself. So, uh, first thing to kind of keep in mind, and first thing that um, hit me is that she does not attach to this base whatsoever. There's nothing on her foot, nothing on the base, so you literally kind of just plonk her down there. Um, obviously, as was shown on the side of the box, the kind of point is she's a bit of a noodle topper, just slightly in a different sense. So anyway, we're going to uh, cast that off for a second, and we'll take a look at Nami herself. Actually, I'm going to move that there so it doesn't focus. So, let's begin with her feet, uh, which is how I begin all my reviews, and now sounds like I've got a weird obsession. Um, so, we have her sandals uh, and stuff, and sort of toes, I guess. I don't know, it's not coming out great on camera. Um, it's not really what you buy them for. But she does have some heels. I didn't know that Nami wore heels, but I do know. So moving on up, we've kind of got the jean pattern. Um, these are a little bit shinier than I'd have liked, really. But I mean, it's a little bit nitpicky. Uh, for the price of the figure, I don't think I'd have expected much more, really. Now we've got the like, nice creases and stuff to show that, you know, there's tension, especially like on that knee there. That looks a lot more creased than that knee. These are clearly quite skin tight jeans, um, which I'm sure is not going to lead to many uh, complaints. So we've got her other foot up there as well, obviously. Um, so these are confusing because I thought it was just like bare skin under them, but apparently it's not. It's some kind of like copper or something, I guess. I don't know. It's It's hard to exactly make out. I don't know what they're meant to be. Let me know in the comments if you know about Nami's clothes. Uh, and then we have her belt, um, as you can see here. Does she have a belt, actually? Um, no, she doesn't. It's just kind of done up with um, with a button. Okay, that's... She's got a lot of faith in, um, in her hip strength there, I guess, and Talking about hips, good, good lord, good, wow, what a, um, wow, what, what a, what a, a ratio, um, I'm, I'm sort of stumbling for words here. We've also got a uh, sculpted belly button for you, uh, for you patricians uh, out there, and we're going to go up here now to her hair, so her hair is, um, 
Honestly, I'm really digging it, actually. It flows just right. It's like... You, you, it's kind of falling over one shoulder, which is quite nice. I do like the um, detail. Obviously, you're not going to have the detail of like more expensive statues. This isn't going to look like real hair or anything, obviously. It does look a little bit like spaghetti, not going to lie. But I mean, it, it more than does the job, really, especially when viewing it from like a different angle. It, you know, you, you can tell that Nami has very long hair. Uh, and talking about long hair, let's look at her face, which doesn't have hair on it. Well, I guess it has eyebrows, doesn't it? Uh, oh, actually, wait, there's her tattoo. So I don't know the history or meaning of this tattoo. I don't remember her having a tattoo in the series, but I, I, I guess she did. Uh, she also got this little watch with um, three little blue things on it. I think that's a watch, or it's, you know, something else. But, and, you know, her hands are quite well modelled as well. I do, I always dig um, separate finger kind of sculpting, if that makes sense. It looks like she's actually opening her hand and not just sort of a weird mitten. Obviously, that one's balled up because she is resting on it. And honestly, her face looks pretty good, I think. I mean, it's not incredible. I think maybe the eyes look a little bit small. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. Again, I have I haven't really watched One Piece, so I could be wrong there. But you know, she's got a, uh, she's got a cute face. I think that's definitely, you know, it's, it's definitely quite nice. She's also got ears for all you ear fetishists out there. Uh, and she's got a nice little fringe. And of course, I'm, uh, I'm intentionally sort of drawing out one part because we are now about to talk about her incredible table stand, because honestly, this is incredible. Um, actually, I think okay, I think incredible is a bit strong, but um, so obviously this connects two parts down here and then two parts under here. It all slots in very easily, um, and honestly, I'm really digging this. Uh, so obviously, you know, the the point of it is to look like it's part of a pirate ship because that's where she'd be. Um, and yeah, honestly, the, the, the wood effect is pretty cool. I quite like this. It sort of, it makes it stand out a little bit and looks a bit more natural, really. And if we take a closer look as well, um, you do kind of get the wood grain effect. As you can see here, there's like the swirls, there's the outer swirls. Now, admittedly, they're not, they're not the most obvious. I mean, if you took some Gundam marker or something, I guess you could define it a bit more. I might do that, I don't know. And again up here we got the wood green when the kind of light hits it. It's not super obvious. You, you can definitely tell this is a bit of wood. Um, and yeah, honestly in terms of bases, this is one of my favourites so far. Now, there is one thing I will say. When you rest her on here, it does feel a little bit precarious because it's kind of the front of her foot is there and the heel is off. Now, I don't think she's going to fall very easily because Nami is a lot heavier than this base. So, so long as you, as long as you put most of her torso onto it, I don't think you're ever going to worry about her sort of toppling off naturally. And to be fair, I'm like moving her around quite a bit here. Um, and you know, she she hangs on fine. And you know, it's nice that. You can kind of have her do a bit of a range of things. You can kind of, you know, have her look that way or that way. Uh, I don't think she'll hang on the other way. Nope. Okay, so it's definitely got to be this way. But, I mean, that makes sense. Um, now, now is the time for the photo collage. But also I'm going to test something. So if you remember this, it mentions on the desk and on the sofa. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any cans, so I'm going to have to improvise, so I'll see what I can find that's roughly her height, I guess. Um, however, I do have a sofa, so that's good. That's going to be handy. Uh, anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Here is a montage of some pictures I took of Nami in various poses.
All right, we are back. I hope you enjoyed those uh, pictures. So it turns out my sofas are too big. Um, she's she's tiny. She, there's no way she'd peek over the side of a sofa. But I did find a few things that you could put her on. So as it turns out, as I as I said at the start of this video, she's a pretty good noodle topper. Uh, I think if you have a regular pot of ramen, uh, she'd easily fit on top of that. Don't think. I don't know, maybe I'd chuck her on, a, on a, like a pot of ramen if I was cooking it. I mean, it's not going to damage her particularly, I guess, and it's not a particularly expensive figure anyway. Kind of bought it a little bit for the meme, just so I could hang her on loads of different stuff. A stack of DVDs, a stack of manga. I don't know, the, uh, the possibilities are endless. But it is time now to wrap up my opinion on this. So... This figure was a little bit cheaper than most prize figures, really, coming in at maybe £20, but I think just under, so that's about $25, $30 US. Um, and to be honest, I'd say she's well worth it. Um, I, obviously, am quite a fan of Nami's design, so I'm happy to have a statue. Now, this is far from the first Nami statue, there's, there's dozens by now. But I don't know, none of them really kind of grabbed me in terms of poses and stuff. They're always either pretty standard or kind of out there. Whereas this is like, oh, I like how sort of casual it is. It stands out from other statues. And the fact it's kind of a dangly kind of one. Now, I know there is a Nico Robin one as well that goes with it. This also got like the wooden stand. I think she's like leaning against it or something. I'm not as crazy on Nico's design. Maybe if if and when I watch or read One Piece, maybe I'll like her better. But for now, I'm just happy with Nami. Um, I think I think this is a great little statue. It doesn't take up a lot of room as well. You could just put this anywhere, really. And yeah, overall, I think if you're a fan of Nami or you're a fan of um, you know uh, interestingly developed anime girls with red hair, uh, which is peak anime girl. Um, then I uh, think you can't really go wrong for your money here. Uh, you know, it's she's versatile, and as I say, I can't see her falling off this very easily, but if that is the case before this video goes up, I'll let you guys know. Um, and talking of that, let me know if you have this, or do you have the Nico Robin? What's she like? Is she just as good? Is it worth me getting her as well? Or do you have other Nami statues? I think there are some pretty cool ones out there. There's some quite expensive ones. And there's some kind of cheaper prize figures. But, you know, for now, this is probably going to be the last One Piece statue. There's not many of the characters I love the design of enough that I'd buy a statue of them without really having watched the show. But that could change in the future. Uh, so yeah, that about wraps it up. I will leave a playlist in this corner for my other statue reviews. I'll leave a random YouTube video down here, and um, that's that's it, really. Thank you guys very much for sitting through all of this. Uh, I will be doing some more statue and figure reviews very shortly, so keep an eye out for that. And until next time, goodbye!